Good morning, boys and girls at Redeemer Sunday School and parents. So happy you're watching today. Today we're going to talk about God testing Abraham. It is on page 29 in your Bible books. So what I want you to think about while we read this is what is some of the hardest things anyone has ever asked you to do? Just kind of keep that in the back of your mind as we go along and learn and see how God tested Abraham. Okay, here we go. That's it again, page 29, God tests Abraham. Abraham loved his son Isaac very much. He knew Isaac's children would grow into a great nation. And even better, many years later, one of Isaac's children would be God's promised son, our Savior. So Abraham must have been surprised and confused the day God told him, Take your son, your only son Isaac, whom you love, and go to the land of Moriah and offer him there as a burnt offering on one of the mountains of which I shall tell you. Hmm. Why would God want Abraham to kill his own son? This was the child God had promised. This was the child through whom God's own son would come. Abraham didn't understand, but he loved God and did what the Lord told him to do. He got up early the next morning, cut the wood for the offering, put a saddle on his donkey, and started out with Isaac and two servants. Three days later, Abraham saw the mountain in the distance. He told his servants, stay here with the donkey. I and the boy will go over there and worship and come again to you. He laid the wood on Isaac while he carried the fire and the knife to kill his son. As they climbed the mountain together, Isaac turned to his father and asked, My father, Abraham answered. Here I am, my son, Isaac said. Behold, the fire and the wood, but where is the lamb for a burnt offering? Abraham told him, God will provide for himself the lamb for a burnt offering, my son. At the top of the mountain, Abraham stacked up the wood, tied up Isaac, and laid him on the wood. Then Abraham took the knife and raised it above his son, ready to sacrifice him. But the angel of the Lord called out to him, Abraham, Abraham, he answered, here I am. The angel said, do not lay your hand on the boy or do anything to him. For now I know that you fear God. Seeing you have not withheld your son, your only son from me. Abraham looked around and saw a ram caught in a thorny bush by its horn. Abraham untied Isaac and offered the ram in place of Isaac. God never wanted Abraham to kill Isaac. He wanted to test Abraham to see if he trusted God's promises or if he loved his son more than God. But God did something more. He showed us a little more clearly what would happen to Jesus, the Savior he had promised to Adam and Eve in the garden. Like Abraham, God the Father took his only son, Jesus, the one he loves, and sacrificed him for us. Just like Isaac carried the wood for the sacrifice, Jesus carried the wooden cross to Mount Calvary very close to Mount Moriah. Jesus is the Lamb of God who died for you and me. Let's end in prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you for helping us understand that you loved us so much you gave up your only Son, Jesus, to save us. And Jesus, thank you for carrying your cross to this mountain to die for all of us. Amen. Just think about the fact that Abraham was so faithful that he believed in whatever God asked him to do. 
He truly knew that God had a plan and that he was going to follow that plan without fail. Isaac is so faithful too. Wouldn't it be strange if you were walking somewhere where you knew you were going to sacrifice something and there wasn't a sacrifice? You must really believe in your dad and your God to know that nothing will happen to you, that you are always safe. And lastly, Jesus took Isaac's place and our place, okay? He gave his only son for us. God did this for us. Jesus saved us just like he saved Isaac. Here's some things that you need to think about or answer. Do a little discussion with mom or dad. What are some of the hardest things for you to do? Is it hard for you to do what you're told sometimes? Is it hard for you to be nice to other kids? Is it hard for you to keep your room clean or make your bed? Those are hard things to do, especially when we're little. The second thing is, what do you think Isaac was thinking while he was walking up the mountain? Do you think he was thinking, this is odd? Me and dad, we're going up for a sacrificial lamb, but we don't have one? What are we missing? What's the bigger idea here? What's the bigger picture? And lastly, what do we sing during the church service right before we go up for communion? Think about that. Pay attention next time you're in church when that song comes up right before you go up for communion. Listen to the words. Thank you for spending this time with me. Let's close in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Hope to see you again soon. God bless.